Good day, YouTube. Today we're just going to take a little bit of a quick comparison look between Linux Mint 20.3 on the left and uh, something called LMDE5 or Linux Mint Debian Edition 5 on the right hand side. So the main difference of which is uh, what these are based on. So the front end is, is quite similar, if not the same, but the back end for LMDE is uh, Debian based, of course, whereas Linux Mint 20.3, the latest release, is actually based on Ubuntu. So Ubuntu back end there. But without further ado, let's get into it a little bit here. And like I say, we can actually see the front end is quite similar, if not exactly the same. So LMDE just uh, number five, version five, just came out recently. So it's just getting in line with Cinnamon, the Cinnamon desktop that uh, the Linux Mint regular Linux Mint users here. So uh, similar if not exactly the same, even the color tones I think there. If we were to do a little bit of a right click, uh, we'll see the context menu is the same there as well. What we'll do is we'll just quickly jump across to the uh, the file manager and we can see that this is uh, yeah just winning the same as well there. E even the exact same version for the file manager Nemo 5.2.4. Nothing to really write home about there. Now uh, let is, uh, let's have a look at a little bit under the hood here and see what's going on. So as we can see, Linux Mint 20.3 on the left, LMDE5 on the right. Now uh, having a look at the kernel, this is where it gets interesting because Ubuntu, which is sort of seen as a more later and greater software and kernels, is actually running uh, the, the back end, so the kernel that it's using for the long-term service release of Ubuntu, it's actually running on 5.4. Whereas we have the Debian edition that this one's running off is actually running on the 5.10 kernel. So a later and greater kernel. Uh, the whole point of the Linux Mint Debian edition is usually to, say, have a, a more stable release, effectively, there. So it's just interesting how the kernels kind of... Um, uh, are a little bit uh, older in the in what's appear, what seems to be a newer version and newer in what seems to be an older version. It's just just uh, it's a mix and match, and that's what Linux is, I guess. Sometimes. Now, uh, actually, having said that, uh, the Linux Mint uh, 21 will come out soon, which will have a newer kernel than this for sure, quite soon. Uh, if we were to uh, have a look, so we can see I've mentioned before we've got the Cinnamon desktop there, although it doesn't mention the version in, it is uh, the same there. Uh, let's see, move across to the uh, CPU and RAM usage. So this is, might be interesting. So about the same. So 715 megabytes of RAM on boot up for Linux Mint 20.3, whereas we've got about 700 megabytes of RAM on boot up for LMDE5. So much of a muchness, nothing to really write home about. Um, not a great deal of difference. Similar back end and certainly similar, if not the same graphical user interface front end there. But um, that's pretty much it. I might leave it there, except I'll just mention, I've mentioned it briefly, but we are running on the, the long-term service release of Ubuntu, so the, the Focal Fossa, as they call it, 20.04 Ubuntu. And on the right-hand side, uh, we've got the latest release, well, the latest back-end release of uh, Debian called Bullseye. I believe that's version 11 there. So thanks again for watching, guys. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.